SeaWorld in the United States has just announced plans for a major makeover. It's a response to the growing backlash over keeping orcas in captivity. CTV News has obtained video showing a BC connection to the controversy. John Woodward reports. Tilikum's stay in the medical pool severely restricts his ability to exercise. This is the infamous killer whale Tilikum barely able to move around in a tiny pool. The medical pool is 31 feet long, 23 feet wide, and 12 feet deep. Tilikum is 20 feet long. The footage was taken in 1992 at Sealand of the Pacific, a Victoria area attraction that is now closed shortly after Tilikum killed Sealand trainer Kelly Byrne. The video and documents were obtained recently through a Freedom of Information request by activist Russ Rector. The video was part of an emergency application to move Tilikum from this unhealthy environment. U.S. authorities agreed Tilikum should go to SeaWorld in Florida, but slammed both companies, saying... Sealand and SeaWorld did not take necessary precautions to protect the health and well-being of Tilikum. Records show the Canadian government supported the move, though activists wanted the whale released. Tilikum was taken to SeaWorld where he killed two more people. That story told in the documentary Blackfish. I've been expecting somebody to be killed by a Tilikum. The backlash from Blackfish has now reached ahead with SeaWorld attendance down and stock prices plummeting. Today the company announced plans to double the size of its pools. The Blue World Project is a massive expansion of the killer whale habitats in all three SeaWorld parks. Too little too late, according to local activists. At a time like this, when obviously the world is coming together against keeping orcas in captivity, it really makes no sense. Here in Vancouver, the aquarium stopped holding orcas in 2001, but belugas remain. The park board had moved to end that too, but instead just ordered the science-focused non-profit agency to stop any breeding. Attendance at the aquarium remains high at a million visitors a year. It has plans to double the size of its tanks as well by 2017. John Woodward, CTV News, Vancouver.